Okay, so I've been asked to clarify this question. Again, it's one of our favorite subjects, logs. Um, so let's have a look. So we've got a curve and we've got a point. Um, we're given the equation of the curve, which is y equals three times two to the power of two x. And we're gonna find the exact value of a. Okay, so we know that y is 96 times the square root of two, and that is equal to three times two to the power of two x. Okay, so this is from the equation we're given and the point. Right, so we've got the last true. Right? So the first thing we can do, we can divide this through by three. Right, so that's gonna be 32 times the square root of two equals two to the power of two x. Okay, so that makes it a little bit simpler. Uh, now we're gonna look at this. This is actually a power of two. So 32 is two to the power of five. And that's multiplying two to the power of a half because that's the square root of two. And that is all equal to two, two to the power of two x. Okay, so we've got, power, we've got base two, base two, base two. That means that we, can, we know that it's the powers we're looking at. Remember, when we multiply two things with the same base, we add the powers. So this means that five plus a half is equal to two x. Okay, because if I've got, um, if I multiply these together, I'm adding the powers, and two to the power of something is equal to two to the power of something, the two powers must be equal. So it's five and a half uh, equals two x, while well, it's right as a fraction. It's that, it's 11 over two equals two x, so therefore x equals 11 over four. Okay, and that is our value of a. Part A taken care of. Now on to part B. Now part B says um, the curve of the equation y equals 3 times 2 to the power of 2x, which we just looked at, meets another curve with the equation y equals 6 to the 3 minus x at point q. Now we're showed the x coordinate of q is this. Right, okay, well, we know whenever two lines meet, there's an intersection, what we do is we set the equation as equal to zero. So I've got a six to the power of three minus x is equal to three times two to the power of two x. Okay, well, we can't divide through because basically this is a base, not a coefficient. So what do we want to do? Well, okay, let's bring this power down and take a log of six. So what we're going to do is three minus x. Okay, and then that's going to take a log of 6, and that's going to be equal to uh, a log of 3 plus 2x, the same thing with the power, log of 2. Okay, now, down here we've got log base 2 of 3, okay, we've got nothing else. So over here we've got a 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to want, going to, want to take everything to log base two. Okay, so then a few things. The, the first simple one is that log base two of two is just one. Okay, because two is two to the power of one. So basically that's that one. The second thing, I can rewrite log two to the power of that's it. Log base two of six as log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of 3. Because, remember, law of logs, log of a plus log of b is equal to log a b. Okay, so 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So I can rewrite log base 2 of 6 as log base 2 of 2, which we know is 1 and log base 2 of 3. Right, so now let's do that, let's replace this. And now this means that we've got 3 minus x times log base 2 of 3 plus 1, remember that's our log base 2 of 2, 
Oh, that's our left hand side. And that's equal to log of two of three plus two x. Remember this basically, that's our two x. Our log base two of two is just one. And your identity wrote on the right hand side. Right, okay, so now we've got that. And it doesn't look like this yet. We need to do a bit of rearranging. Let's expand these brackets. So I get three log base two of three plus three. Now multiply the x minus x log base two of three minus x. And that's equal to log of two of three plus two x. Okay, now remember the idea is we want this to be x equal to to find the x coordinate. So what I'm going to do is rearrange it. So I've got x on one side and everything else on the other. All right, so log 3, log 2, log base 2 of 3. So 3, log base 2 of 3, plus 3. That's OK. Right, now I have to add this to both sides. Get the x on the other side. Over here, the bracket. And the x's, I'm going to add my x log base 2 of 3. That's going in there. I'm going to add this x, x minus 1. And I've already got 2 x over here, so that's going to be x minus 2. So move this, move this, and I've moved that. So now I've got log 2. Log base 2 of 3 over here, so I'm going to have to subtract that. And I'm going to have minus log base 2 of 3. Okay. So now all I'll do is collect together my like terms. I've got three, I've got three lots of log base 2 of 3, and I'm taking away 1. So that means I've actually got 3 plus 2 log. Three, which is our, our numerator, and that is equal to log base two of three plus three by combining these two minus x. Okay, I factorise that out the x. So x is just equal to three plus two log base two of three over divided by that bracket log two three. Plus three is exactly the same thing we were looking for in the beginning. They were all finished. So it's these I, these things here that are really helpful. Uh, log base two of two is one because two is two to the power one, and log a plus log b is log a b. So we can rewrite that log base two of six as log base two of two, which is one plus log base two of three. It helps.